Hi, and welcome to my instructional video on how to use Pinnacle Studio 16 to make beautiful 3D video. If you use the Pinnacle website, the instructions there are incorrect. You will end up with uh, aspect ratios messed up in your video. It took me a while to figure out what uh, Pinnacle Studio was doing with that, but I think I finally got it figured out. So here's my instructional video. First, I like to keep my left and my right uh, pictures and videos in separate files. Um, I label these files left and right, and uh, that helps me very much in uh, inserting the videos into the clip correctly. So let's first uh, put video into the file. This first box on top I like to keep set for uh, things that are going to overlay on top of the video, uh, titles, things like that. The second one down I like to use for left uh, pictures and video, and the third one down I like to use for right pictures and video. So let's go up and select video first off. So there's the video selected. Um, I've got some right video here. I'd like to use this one here. Um, so I'm going to drag this down into the, uh, excuse me, the right one. So the right one's the thick, this one down. The left one uh, is uh, the top one. So here's the left video. I'm going to drag that down here. So in the uh, viewing window over here, you see it's perfectly clear two dimensional video. And you can see just down here, there's no selector for how to view your 3D video. So uh, right now, Pinnacle thinks you're dealing with 2D video. Um, so to fix that, we go over to this little tool thingy here. Uh, clicked on, um, you know, regular 2D, change that to stereo stereoscopic 3D, and hit apply. And bammo, you notice the little selector window appears here. This window lets you... Uh, change the little viewing screen that we're, we've got just above this to Anoglyph and that's really awesome for using your uh, red blue 3D glasses to keep get an idea of what you're going to see in your output TV signal and by that I mean I use to I my TV is a 3D TV and it uses side-by-side -side, uh, type of video to produce absolutely gorgeous 3D pictures so uh, that's what I'm going to be outputting it as, but right now for viewing it on this little screen, I'm going to be viewing it in Anoglyph. Um, so we've got our two videos inserted. If we uh, double click on this top one, this is our left eye video. Then this uh, um, screen pops up here. We want to select stereoscopic and we want to tell it the left eye. And it turns red like it's done there. And we hit OK to select that. Then in the lower video, we want to double click on that. We want to select stereoscopic and right eye on that. Notice it turns a little bit green for the right eye and on OK. So now up in our viewing window we do see we've got um, if you use your red blue glasses you'll actually see um, an anoglyph video up there. We can actually press play and we can watch the video running and uh, we can also hear the sound from the video. So let me stop this for a second and move back to the beginning of the video. Now in the beginning of the video you will notice that uh, there was um, some strange noise. So let's take a closer look at that. On the left down here we can we can drag the timeline out so that we're basically zooming in to our video and getting a really close look at it. So let me hit play here. Pop, pop. Okay, when I start my video's camera running, I, uh, I make that pop noise. And what that does is in the video, it's uh, caused a couple of these, pop these popping sounds. And with those, I can uh, um, synchronize my video. So what I'm going to do is zoom, you know, make this timeline so it's a little more, well, that's about the best I can do. Um, move this back here and if I click on the lower video one time and then I click and hold the button down I can move my video in time left and right like this so I'm gonna move it to the right and I'll try to get that synchronized about as best I can you can see this pop here too is a little uh, a little bit off but uh, let me get my little yellow pointer marker in fact I'm gonna move my yellow marker over to this one and I'm gonna zoom in even more and you can see between this red line and this red line, that's one frame. And Pinnacle Studio, you can see I'm about 
a fourth or maybe a third of a frame off, Pinnacle Studio will not let you adjust anything less than one frame. So if I click this lower one and try moving it, you'll see it, it jumps by from here to here. So I cannot get it dead on with Pinnacle Studio. But we're only about a third of a frame off. Should be no big deal. Um, so let me zoom the video back to the normal length here. Okay, um, so that's uh, how to insert the video, how to synchronize it, and how to turn it into 3D video. Um, so let's see, what else should we, should we do here? If we go to the end of the video, um, you can see now that uh, our video is, uh, it's not, I mean, <laughs> they're to the end at two different times because we've moved the video back and forth. So if you move the cut bar to just some point in here, and uh, here's the cutting tool, and here is the, s the video selected track. So I'm going to hit a cut here. I'm going to pick the next video down. I'm going to hit a cut here. And then I'm going to click this video and delete that in, and click this video and delete that in. And now we've got a nice clean cut here um, set for the, the end of the video. In fact, I probably should have done that in the, f the beginning of it, um, although uh, I think we're pretty good here in the beginning. There's no uh, set cut. So I'm just going to hit the play button again and make sure I get the... Okay, synchronization sounds pretty good. So now, now you're ready to cut the video. Here's a cut, put a cut in here, cut here. Okay, you can now move the videos left. You can insert stuff here like a picture. Uh, in fact, let's look to do that. Let's go stick a couple of pictures in here. So I'm going to go up here. I've selected mine to be a picture tool, a little picture clicker up here. And <clears throat> so the left eye picture. I've, I'm going to pick this these first three pictures. So I'm going to click the first picture, hit shift, and hit the next picture. So I'll get all three of these pictures. I'm going to drag them down. I'm going to insert them into the left eye. Um, now I only got one picture inserted there. So let's not do that. Let's just take that one back out of there. Let's go to the end. Okay. So here we got the three pictures for the left eye. Let's drag them down there. Pink. Okay, there's our three pictures, and let's go to the right eye and pick those same three pictures. Fish, press the shift key, boom, got all of them. Drag them down to the right eye. Now, unfortunately, each one of these six pictures, you have to double click on it, tell it it's a stereo picture, and tell it it's the left or right eye. Real pain in the butt. So let's do that with one of them. Double click. Stereoscopic, left eye, OK, double click, stereoscopic, right eye, OK. Now, when we view this picture uh, with an anaglyph uh, glasses, wearing the red blue glasses, you will see 3D picture. Um, if we move it to this next picture, um, you'll see you're just viewing the top picture here, these two up here. So it's not 3D. So every picture you insert, you gotta tell it the left right eye, right eye. Um, I wish Pinnacle could select, you know, like a whole bunch of pictures on the top and tell them all these are the left eye, all these are the right eye. But no, it's not working that way. So anyway, that's how to insert pictures. Oh, inserting, um, uh, like, uh, what do you call them? The. S Never mind. <laughs> bye bye.